Okay, welcome back. Just wanted to uh, show a few little updates. I haven't done much to the figure since last time. Uh, I did show in a community post. I made this base and uh, touched up the paintwork on the dog. As you can see, you know, I haven't, I've only just sort of thrown a bit of paint on it really. Just to get that look, um, needs to needs to be done a bit better and blended in a bit better. But you get the idea. Get that you get that look. So yeah, the base is very cheaply made. It is literally some sandpaper, and uh, I'll just show you. literally some sandpaper and then there's some cardboard and then just a load of lollipop sticks glued onto it and that's it and then just weathered to give it that dirty dusty road look in fact the road's more dusty than Max's and the dog but yeah it's just something I'll, I'll keep coming back to and just keep adding doing the lines is pretty simple just use some tape tape off the lines and then paint on the yellow stripe so simple as also with this set i want to repaint the boots i'm not too happy uh, the color of the boots with all this weathering i'd rather paint them black and start again and uh yeah obviously the dog needs a few little upgrades paint wires blending in a bit better did repaint the scarf a brighter red um could go with a cloth one I've seen other people do it but I quite like the sculpting on that so I'll just probably leave it. Uh for Matthew Binney he wanted to he wanted to see the uh video case so I'll show you that now give you a good look at it without the glare of the light move this stuff out of the way oh, no, shadows shadows there you go. One man can make the difference. Nice uh, bit of art artwork there. And there's the back if you want to read that. Look at the tape. And is that still I haven't cleaned it? <laughs> I think it kind of suits it. It's a dusty, uh, dusty film and dusty tape. So yeah, I do usually give them a little clean, but I haven't felt the need to with that one. I uh, had this gas can sitting in the box upstairs it was for a Sin City Mar figure which still got to go back to and finish that off it's basically complete I just need to stick a new body on it uh, and I, I made a few copies of the gas cans uh, this one I had a few imperfections as you can see and it's a little bit a little bit um, the resin's a bit thin in places, but it's okay. That weighs about the same, slightly heavier than that one. But this one is solid resin. <laughs> it's solid. And as you can see, the paint transfer from there Come off that one. I don't know. This took about 200 grams, I think, or more of resin, but it came out nice, nice clean cast. It had a few air holes in the bottom, had to fill in. Um, not really cost effective making these. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I, this one I've done uh, by rotor casting 
made made the mold and then poured the resin in and just kept rotating it that's why it's a little bit uneven a little bit thinner in parts but it does the job and uses probably about half you can see there it's a bit thin I could always fill that hole in there now I can probably push it through if I pushed hard enough but for my purposes it doesn't really matter if it's rusted through it's just extra scenery in it so yeah there's other people out there that 3 print. 3D print these for a very cheap price. There's no point me offering these. I've just kind of done it for my own um, purposes. Because I say this one I kept um, for my Sin City Marv. And yeah, I need the spare one. So made one. I made two. Could make about six and <laughs> stick them on a stick. But it'd be very top heavy and the figure would fall over. So probably won't be bothering with that. I've seen some people doing up their Mad Max figures and using custom bits and see a really good one on Facebook where he's got a nice road base similar to this and post and kangaroo crossing and all sorts on it. Very cool. But yeah, some people were saying add a bigger body to this figure, which I can I was kind of going to do that, but as I said before, I think this is pretty much in scale to Mel Gibson. I think it goes well with the uh, other figures. And to be honest, now that I've uh, moved the head up a little bit, I think it does look pretty much in scale. Um, I see a review, another review. You were saying the, the battle damage head's a little bit smaller. Don't really see it myself. Maybe a no. Just looks like the same sculpt to me. But maybe other people got uh, variants, slight differences in the casting. I know. Um, I've been watching people talking about the '66 Joker, the prank villain from Mars Toys and kind of picking holes in it because the second batch has got a few issues with the waistcoat and the the neck uh, on the shirt and possibly a few well one extra hand or one wrong hand included and people getting a bit out bit um bent out of shape over it and also the satin toys 66 uh, adam west trunks being a bit baggy and calling them nappies and diapers and all sorts i mean uh, mars toys are trying their best they're offering replacement parts and i mean people are are spoiled these days you know like for the price of the the batman set the dynamic duo set it's half i can't remember what they're going for now but people were saying like for the for the price, half the price of a Hot Toys figure, you're complaining about two complete figures with a few little issues, or one issue in that set. And with the prank um, villain from Mars, with a few little minor little issues, people saying it's not good enough. And oh, the first run didn't have this set, these issues. And you know, Mar uh, Mars Toys are offering replacement sets for. 10 extra dollars you know you, you, you can't really ask say much fairer than that you know the, all they're asking for is the postage cover the postage they're not even asking for the extra the cost of the materials you know okay they should have got it right the first time but still try asking for hot toys for replacements they ain't gonna bother unless you buy it direct from uh, Hong Kong and it's within 30 days you, you must be joking no other company is even talking about offering replacements for free so I think a lot of the the collectors are spoiled and you know I, I include myself in that category it's like you can nitpick 
over the smallest of details and not appreciate the bigger picture of how good these figures are and the price you're getting them for compared to Hot Toys or other companies. I won't give them any year more free advertising, but companies like Mars Toys, I've bought their Walter White, their, their Mike, and I've got the Gus on pre-order. Hopefully that will come out soon. And the the um I can't remember what else the um protective clothing set. Also got that on pre-order, which seems like maybe two years ago I pre-ordered it, or it's been out for two years. Pre-order was up two years ago. It's weird how they can get two lots of prank villain runs done, but they can't get the uh the Gus from Breaking Bad out. They did post some updates saying they weren't happy with certain elements, so fair play. They are keeping people updated, and I'm sure there won't be a problem. I can't see people getting shafted over it or people's deposit money going missing. Uh, not at this stage. I think Mars Toys are a proper catering for you know, one six collectors, and if anybody wants to jump on them and and say this is bad, this is but I think you're asking a lot. Anyway, that's it for now. If you want to leave a comment regarding this or the prank villain, third party figures in general, uh, in general, do you think? Um. I mean, I know personally, I haven't bought a Hot Toys figure. I was going to say in years, but I have. But I haven't even taken it out of the box. I bought the Mighty McFly just to compare it to the present toys. And I haven't even bothered taking it out of the box. I've just stuck it back on eBay. And um, I'm not even bothered about it, to be honest. I know what it looks like. I've seen reviews. I'm quite happy with the present toys one. And I have been for many years like... There's a few that I that I regret not getting, like the Ellen Ripley from Alien. But, you know, I can live with it. The, the few figures that Hot Toys does that I want um, are very few and far between. Um, Third-party figures, they scratch the itch for me. I mean, they might not always be 100% quality wise or accurate wise but this one in particular I think ticks a lot of boxes and a few little niggles aside happy to get the the 66 Joker I'll be showing you that soon I'm sure like myself you're probably sick of the sight of it if you haven't got one or you're waiting for one you don't really want to be seeing hundreds and hundreds of pictures looking identical. You just you just want your one and uh, to, to display with your Batman and Robin. But again, I think there is a divide. There is a divide between obviously the high end collectors and then the hot toys collectors and i guess the third party collectors are down the bottom and then you've got necker and mcfarlane and all these sort of these sort of uh, i don't even know what you call it social status <laughs> it's like oh no no i only collect the one six or custom collectibles by so and so and you know i only pay I only buy figures that are four digits. Well, so do I, but mine has the, the decimal point after the first three fig figures instead of the, the fourth. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking rubbish. I think I've got brain damage. I'm a little bit, uh, bit all over the place today. Uh, it might be the, the hay fever kicking in. It might be just my general mental health is not good today <laughs> maybe this video is maybe it's just inhaling too much resin into my <laughs> I 
of my sinuses is making me sneeze. So anyway, yeah, tell me, tell me your thoughts. What do you collect in general? Do you collect? Um, I know somebody left a comment saying they they're just focusing on one twelfth scale figures and. And yeah, I mean, you do get a lot more for your money if you're going to go that route. I know Funko Freddy collects mostly the, the smaller stuff, the NECA. Uh, and some people, you know, just collect the odd bit here and there. And then their focus is mainly on movie memorabilia or props or statues or busts or whatever. Other people... They collect fewer pieces, but more expensive. Fair play, that's where you want to go. Me, uh, I just collect uh, mostly one six. I do have some Necker and McFarlane stuff. I do have some Pops. Um, I have got some new pops to show, but you know, I tried to dip my toe in all different fields, videos, posters, um, make my own stuff. Uh, and you know, a lot of things interest me, like the video stuff and uh, music. It, you know, I've just got a lot of different things that interest me. Other people are more focused and more, you know, I'm going to say narrow-minded, but it's not even narrow-minded. It's just more focused. They just want to concentrate their their uh, time and their money into to one avenue, which, you know, probably is the best way to go, but it's just, it's never been me. I always lose um, interest in one particular field of collecting or you know it's like with this i started painting it while i was watching something else and really i need to go back and add more detail and more color and blend around the face more but i get distracted quite easily so i'll come back to it and i'll i'll finish it once um, I've completed a few other things, I've got to move some stuff about. I want to set up a better area for the tapes and, um, yeah, I've got to declutter a lot of stuff. I've been saying it for years. I've got to sell a lot of stuff. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's, it's not easy. It's easy to buy the stuff. It's not so easy to sell it. Well, it is. It's just, it's just my mentality. It's just like keep everything. And once I sell something, it's like, oh, shit, I should have sold that. But currently for sale, I've got um, the quarter-scale NECA Superman. I haven't even shown that in a in a review proper. I've just showed it quickly in one video. It's a nice figure, but I don't really need it. Um, I've got the iconic Studios Patrick Bateman on eBay up for sale. I've also got the Mighty McFly. With Einstein on eBay for sale. I've got other things I need to list, but yeah, small steps. <laughs> I'll probably I'll get there in the end once I've list, sold a few things. But also, you get people lowballing you, and it's just like oh, I just hate dealing with people when they when they lowball you, or you know there might be a problem down the line. With I am not as received or oh this has got a ding or this has got a little paint blip or whatever you've got to cover yourself it's such a stressful thing because um, I know some people are arseholes just to get a few quid knocked off anyway take it easy I'll speak soon bye bye